Hello guys and welcome to this whiskey tasting channel. I'm Nathan, also known as The Whiskey Speaker. If you're checking us out for the first time, thank you so much for doing so. And if you're coming on back, thank you equally for doing so. And if you like what you see, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit the old subscribe. It truly is appreciated. Here we discuss all manners of whiskey review throughout the world. There is no country off limits as far as whiskey goes. So let's dive straight into today's whiskey. And I must give a massive shout out and vote of appreciation to the team at Waterford in Ireland who have been kind enough to donate this bottle and without this episode would not have been possible. So the distillery itself in Waterford, although I will make sure to drop the link in the box below so you can go check it out for yourselves, uh, was established way back in 2015 by Mark Rainier, uh, who previously was actually one of the co-revivalists, if you want to call it that, of uh, Bruce Laddick, uh, the lady up in Isle, um, which is great. And the distillery, which now takes over Waterford, is actually a former brewery, which up until before whiskey started flowing out of it, had actually been used for world famous Guinness, of all things, which is great. But this distillery um, and this company are known, absolutely known, and making noise throughout the whiskey industry and in the world for the study of terroir and the effects it actually has on malted barley. Now, the, the distillery itself, with this particular expression, um, is actually recognised as becoming certified for organic, which really is a great thumbs up uh, for green credentials. So that is a salute um, and a nice big tick in the box. Also, if you want to stand out in the shelves with endless amounts of bottles staring you in the face, how better than to do it with this absolutely stunning blue, which I'm told is to do with Waterford and its heritage and ancient colours on possibly heraldry or a flag for the area. But if you go and actually look at the back of what's on the bottle as well, each individual code there will tell you the ins and outs and intricacies of what has just gone into making this whiskey. These guys really don't do things by halves either. This is a whopping 50% alcohol, 50% alcohol by volume, ABV. That's a standard for these guys. They don't mess around, um, which is fantastic because equally, if you want to add a little splash of water to calm it down, you still, for me, uh, tasting whiskey uh, and not dropping it below that 40%. But whiskey is uh, very subjective and it's equally the most important thing you drink whiskey how you choose to enjoy it that's the most important thing but for me i like to keep my whiskey above 40 percent and then allowing that at such a high abv absolutely fantastic so another massive tick now this is a peated expression um and actually i put it out to you guys um is there a maltster in ireland that produces peated malt that has been actually grown in Ireland uh, that would be really interesting to know another note and I don't normally do this um, and review such heavily on the bottle but it really is a fantastic standout uh, design along with the company is that of the glass stopper now I know that might sound silly um, but this is probably more sustainable um, than using cork and it also means that the bottle is reusable time and time again. So, so many ticks. I can't honestly um, <laughs> kind of give enough kudos points to the, these guys. So, let's uh, get in a little bit deeper on this. Which is that this particular expression is one of the slightly more uh, peachier ones, as I said. Uh, it's about 47 parts per million phenolic content, which really does make it quite bold. And the malted barley itself comes from Ballybunnan, which is from a single state of farm, which, as the study of terroir suggests, they keep close track of 
every grain that goes into the production of their whiskey. And even if they use the same malted barley variety, the soil um, and the textures and the pH in that soil will eventually have a, an effect on the final product. So that's why it's so important for these guys. But let's jump on into this and see what delights we have in store. I cannot wait for this. Now, this one really is for the peat drinker. And unsurprisingly, it really is good value for money. These you get for around about 60, 65 to 70 pounds. Might sound a lot, but for the ABV um, and for the time and commitment that's gone into this, it really isn't something that has just been uh, made overnight. Real thought and craftsmanship has gone into making this whiskey. So, here we go. Colour. Let's see what we've got. I would just put that down as gold, almost like your wedding band gold, unless you've got white gold, in which case not. But a wedding band gold, nine carat. On the nose. Oh, that is exquisite. Um, unsurprisingly, uh, smoke is in there. There's like a concoction of lavender and honey. And a little bit of green apple in there. And a strong sea breeze. Might be slightly over-romantic about it. But these are all the things that it conjures up um, in my head. <laughs> Terribly playful as well. Honestly, it really is. Um, on the palate, for tasting. Chewy. Really, really buttery. Um, there's also like a, a vanilla ice cream, I would say, in there as well. And I want to say almond as well, like an oil of almond um, playing with that peat. On the finish, really dry really crisp the peat carries on through and lingers but it's very um, really enhanced by a, a malt sweet uh, a malt sweetiness yeah I'd say the kind of the honey element kind of carries on through as well along with you start to get a little bit more of uh, vanilla carrying on just to kind of complement it underneath but that's really subtle and the kind of saltiness of the sea air really kind of carries on through with that as well um guys waterford uh, what can i say it's fantastic it truly truly is fantastic irish whiskey um i will of course drop the uh descriptions for you guys to check these guys out in person if you do go and see them at a whiskey show, make sure to go and check them out um, because they do peated expression and unpeated. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to put my neck out there and say that I'm pretty sure that you will find at least one of their expressions uh, that will uh, tick all the boxes for you like this has for me. Uh, I think there's actually a combination as well with the casks that have been used in this. Uh, a mixture of about 39% first field American oak, 21% um, virgin oak, I'm trying to remember all these facts off the top of my head, uh, and also a percentage of premium uh, French oak has gone into this. Uh, so really kind of complex and really great. 
guys thank you so much for taking the time today this has been waterford this has been wonderful um questions queries comments drop them in the box below enjoy your whiskey how you want to enjoy it and whatever you're doing today have a fun one and a safe one and i look forward to seeing you soon bye for now